Hey, welcome to the channel where I show you how to put some prep in your step. Today, we're gonna pivot our focus a little bit, tableau prep joke, and we're going to talk about relationships versus joints. What are relationships? What's happening there? Why would I use a relationship versus a joint? Or if I have relationships, why would I go back to joints at all? What's happening in the back that makes this a smoother experience for the end users? We're gonna dive into understanding the difference. What is the logical layer? What is the physical layer? And what is actually happening on the tableau side and when you use both of these in practice. We're gonna go through a use case to show um, what will happen with a data set if you use a join when you really should be using a relationship. So let's dive into it. So Tableau has this really uh, helpful page. I'll drop a link to it in the description below, but this is describing their new data model. And really the key graphic is this one right here. So what's happening here? Uh, it's showing us a logical layer and a physical layer. Now, uh, what's really how Tableau wants you to think of this is your logical table A, this is really a uh, container for the physical tables inside of it. So uh, when you're thinking about you know, this, this really difference, the, the main thing is that the physical layer takes your tables and merges them together into one flat physical table. So when, when, I, when I say physical, I mean, whenever you look at how that data is going to be stored in the extract, it is going to be stored at, as one table. And so the granularity of that data set is going to be at the row level for those merged tables. Now, the relationship, what that's going to do is it's going to keep these two tables separate. So this is a container for your physical tables here. And this is a container for your physical tables here. And so what that means is with that relationship, you're just telling Tableau, I want to relate these two things together. I want to establish that information from these separate tables is tied together, but not create and combine one single table with them. Really, we want to create and combine visuals from the data inside of them. So let's take a look at that in the Tableau side. Right here, I've got a relationship. I've got two tables. I've got the uh, employee table and I've got the phone table. So the employee table has three rows. It has an employee for each row. So each row here, the level of granularity is one employee per row. I've got this phone table here and this one has a phone number, a phone ID, and then it has the employee ID. But what we see here is the same employee ID can tie to uh, multiple phone numbers. And so here, the level of detail, the granularity in the data set is one phone number per row, right? And so here I'm using a relationship. Now, if I were to join those together, I have a data set here that's doing the same thing. So here's my logical layer. If I click inside of it, I've now stepped into that physical layer. So again, this is the logical layer that is containing my physical layer which is two tables actually joined together. And so what I get is this, where I have my employee and I have my phone numbers and I joined them together where that employee ID is equal. And so now I've got the phone numbers tied to that employee. Now here's the, the, the key thing. If I jump over here real quick, this is what happens in that join, right? So um, let's say we have a table for uh, titles, right? So we've got our same employee table, but let's say we had a table that had a title ID and then a title name, just to signify these are all of the titles within our organization. And I wanna be able to associate each employee with their proper title. So um, each row in employee is one employee and each row in title is one title, but multiple employees can have the same title. And so when I join those two together, I get this table that shows me here are my individual employees and here is the title associated with them. In this case, a join is perfectly fine. That's what I would wanna do to really um, ensure that I'm creating my, my physical table the way that it should be structured. I should be able to see that information tied to each uh, employee and I'm not uh, inflating any of my data by doing that. Now, if I go back to our current example, where we're working with the employee table in the phone number. Uh, when we do that join here, so when we say we're gonna join these two tables together on this uh, employee ID from each table, what happens 
in that join is we merge the two tables together and we now create one. But by doing that, we've changed the level of detail or we've changed the granularity to where now we are no longer looking at one row per employee. Now, because we've merged those and the phone number table was at a different level of granularity, we're really looking at uh, one row is each phone number per employee. So two very different levels of detail. Now, the problem would happen if I were to try and do some kind of salary analysis with this new joined table. Because if in Tableau, if I do this join and I try to do a sum of salary, I'm going to get this 257,000 as my sum of salary because I'm sum summarizing all of these. So all six of these rows. Now my salary is duplicated because we have to be able to merge those tables physically together and represent if this, if the first four columns here represent my employee record and I'm merging it with the phone number record, then this value here is still joined and merged with these other phone numbers because of that ID being associated on all the same rows. So let's jump back into Tableau real quick and I'm using my joined data. I have that same table structure. And so if over here I jump in and I say, I want to look at my employees, I'll look at their first name and last name, and I want to show the phone numbers associated with them. So there's all their phone numbers now. And then I wanna do some kind of salary analysis. So I'm gonna bring my salary here, and then I'm gonna take a look at my grand total. So add uh, column grand totals, and I've got that 257,000, but that's wrong because it, what that's really saying is it's basically representing that uh, this salary exists three times, but I'm not paying that, I'm paying this, or that this salary exists twice, but that's not the truth, it's really just once. So we've duplicated our data, we've inflated our values. Uh, and so if I were to think about different ways to do that, I could use an LOD, use a fixed LOD to, to fix that aggregation and solve my problem. But really what I need to do with this is I need to be able to take my employee data and relate it to my phone number data. I don't necessarily want to combine them in a singular table, but I do want to be able to establish that relationship and view them together in my dashboard or in my report. And so when we establish a relationship here, when we look at our relationship model, then he's got the little noodle, so Tableau calls it the noodle. They've got that little noodle in between to establish that there's a relationship here. And if I look at the relationship, it is many to many, and it's on that employee ID field. Uh, and so we've established that if we're looking at the employee ID from both tables, we've got a relationship there. And what's happening on the back end there is if we look back here and look at our relationship, what we're saying is this employee ID has a relationship to this employee ID. And this employee ID has a relationship to these two employee IDs. So this row is related to these two rows. This row is related to these three rows. The key difference here though, is there's no new physical table being created. We are still recognizing that this is its own table and this is its own table. There's just rows from each that have a relationship established. And so if I were to do a sum of salary of the employee table, 133, 133,000 is my true sum of salary for the employees that I actually have in my organization. Now, where it starts to get a little confusing is how you represent this on the Tableau side. So if I come in and create a new sheet, I'm gonna use my relational data, and I'm gonna drag in my same fields, employee ID, first name, last name, and phone number, and so, we're still using the relationship. I'm still able to see here are all the phone numbers tied to it. And if I pull in my salary, I'm, I'm showing those values multiple times. Aren't we causing the same problem as the join? No, because if I go to analysis and show column grand totals, it's going to show me my true sum of the salary. And it's able to do that because Tableau is still treating these as two separate tables. So sum of salary from the employee table is still 133, but because there is a relationship there, Tableau is able to visually represent that 
uh, each of these phone numbers are related to this salary amount. That's all this is saying. It's just saying that there's a relationship there. So we can see that they're there, but the true aggregate is this 133. So it's that problem of being able to combine data from different sources and uh, really truly represent that aggregation without having to go through hoops and do all kinds of LODs and try to kind of hack the Tableau side to make sure that things are aggregating properly. Uh, this relationship model solves a lot of that for you. So, you know, when you're thinking about creating your data model, um, you can still use those joins when it makes sense. But if you're using two data sets with different levels of granularity, um, it might make more sense to use that relationship model. And so now you can see that Tableau will still allow you to visualize it, but it will also still give you that uh, proper aggregation. And again, that's because the way that Tableau is treating this, it's not saying sum all of these rows together. It's still saying, bring me the sum of this table for the salary amount, which is still just these three records because we did not duplicate those records. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comments below. Um, let me know if this was helpful or if there are other things you wanna see about the Tableau data model. And I'll see you in the next one.